So today I'm going to be doing the one life challenge. That is one tank that we keep alive for the entirety of however many battles we go through until we finally die. Now there are a couple of rules to this. I can't sit still and just hide for the entire game because that's not really going to work out for us. So we're going to follow the gun game rules and I still have to get at least two kills or a capture for that round to count. Now, of course, when doing a challenge like this, the choice of tank really matters, which is why I'm going to be doing this with the Eland or Eland 90 Mark 7. This is also the AML 90 if you want to try this for yourself. And it's not the worst looking little armored car. It's from South Africa, or it's actually from France, but it's upgraded in South Africa. Who cares? But the point is, it has this 90mm gun which only fires heat. So that could be a really good thing or a really bad thing. Because as everyone knows, heat is one of those things that either one shots an enemy or does absolutely nothing. Now, in order to increase our survivability, I'm going to have to do something which I think is probably the worst thing you can do in War Thunder, other than owning the 2S38. Your existence is God's failure. And that is, I am going to be putting some decorations on. Now, I already have one. We got our little teddy bear over here. Say hello to Teddy. And that is, of course, camouflage. Now, I have the largest piece of camouflage here, and it's going to go over these grooves at the front here, which kind of looks like a bulldozer blade, but I know that those are basically there for if you get stuck in sand. But it's a perfect holder for a bush. Look at that. That's absolutely perfect. All right, and here it is. So I've tried to make it look somewhat functional. I'm not blocking the gunner's sight over here. Um, at least I think it is. Where is it? It's here. So it's not blocked mostly. <laughs> you can still use it. Uh, but the idea behind camouflage is you want to make sure that it breaks up the outline of the tank, at least from whichever angle you want it to face. Because so long as what you look like isn't obviously a tank, chances are people aren't going to look at it for too long. That little turret might be a little bit harder to spot, but we will find out. All right, and here we go. I should probably point out that this thing. It's called an armored car, but it's not actually armored. It's kind of, um, not even bulletproof. So we gotta watch out for machine gun fire, too. Now, there is only one capture point, so this could be an issue if I try to go for the capture objective. So we might go for the two kills this time, but let me just get some scouting in. Also, it's gonna be a problem once people start getting planes. Let's keep the gun barrel pointing down. I don't see anything. Oh, hello. All right, I go 600 meters away on that tank there. Okay, it's going for the cap. Okay, I can't really see from this spot, so let's go somewhere else. This challenge is genuinely scary, though, because some machine guns don't even have tracers. And so I could literally die at any second. It'd be quite sudden. Honestly. Oh, what's over there? I think the giveaway for me will be these antennas sticking out, honestly. Oh, that's a mouse. I think. Or oh, is that a tiger? No, that's a tiger. Okay, I God, I thought it was a mouse. All right, let's just spot him again. Come on, there we go. All right, time to move. Ooh, we got one uh, scout assist. Now, two assists would count as a kill normally, but I kind of want to get them on my own. So even if I will be counting that for this challenge, I'm not going to feel good about it. All right, come on. Up we go. I don't play the wheeled vehicles uh, as much as I play the tanks, so I'm gonna wonder if the uh, fall damage is gonna be worse, because we did just damage two of our wheels. Surprise, mother- Nope. Okay, that's a critical, but... Okay, maybe he doesn't know where it came from. He might not know. Let's just have a quick check. Does Is he looking this way? Does he know? I don't think- I don't know if he knows. I'm worried. I'm scared. I may have gotten somebody else killed. This is... this is problematic for me. Uh-oh. Because I've... I may have poked a bear here. Or a tiger. 
Although he is potentially short two crew members now. Oh, he is coming this way, though. And I have no smoke grenades. Because this thing is stock. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I think he saw me. Which means he might know that I'm going this way. Oh, hello. Nope. Oh, I missed so badly. Oh, that's really bad. That's really bad. That's really bad. Oh, this is not good for me. This is not good for me. No, God! Oh, he missed. He missed. He missed. He missed. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't you do it. Don't you use your machine gun on me. That's cheating. Oh, come on. I think his turret's jammed. No, 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 no. Get away from me. Get away from me! Oh god, that's... Uh, <laughs> I'm so scared right now. <laughs> okay, okay. I have lost all situational awareness. I do not know what's happening right now. All I know is... I gotta get out of here. We might potentially have... Oh, I, okay, I hear something. I hear something. Oh, it's a Yak Panther! Okay, we got terrain. We got terrain. Yes! Okay, we got a teammate. He's on fire. He's dead! Oh, no, 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 machine guns! Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. Um, I should probably try to spot whatever shot at me just then. It looked like it was this direction here. But I don't see anything. Why do I hear something? That sounded like a plane that just went over me. Oh, there he is. It's a panther. Okay, there's something right here. Ah! Yeah, okay, that's two kills. Run. <laughs> that was such a cheap shot. <laughs> and I'm taking it. Okay. That panther is going to be looking for me right now. The problem with playing some of these fast, squishy light tanks... Oh! Is the moment anybody sees you, they want you. Oh! No, 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 no! No, 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 Back! Okay, I really gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Come on, move. Move, 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 move. This is terrifying. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Oh, is that it? Did we do it? Yes, come on. We, we lost, but it's okay. <laughs> right, now this is a little more suited to the type of camouflage we've got. Um, I have just noticed that the leaves and stuff do change color depending on the map. Just a little bit, but our paint scheme definitely matches up. So I'm just going a little bit back here. So that we can peek up and over the ridge line here. And we can do some spotting. There's something. <laughs> It's 900 meters away. That's that's quite far. Also, I love that South African voice that they have for these vehicles. Like even though this is on the British tech tree, it's South African. I mean, it's French, but you know what I mean. I actually love that that's a thing. I would also love it if they did the same thing for the Australian vehicles, but since there's not that many of them, I have a feeling it's probably not going to happen. All right, we're still turret down, but my machine gun might be visible. 
It's not really something that I think they can really do any damage if they hit it. But it does mean they probably know where I am. So, back down. <laughs> I do at least have smoke grenades now, though. Just something. I'm not going to risk taking a shot here, though. I mean, that would just be dumb. Alright, that Vickers is making a push. Main thing is i got to use, like, the teammates kind of as bait, really. Oh, he's dead. Oh, maybe not. He might be on fire, though. But yeah, if some of these bigger guys can go out there and, like, tank a few hits, I might be able to spot where those shots are coming from. There's one. That might be a leopard, actually. There's this guy again. Alright, they're both pushing down. I could risk a shot. Possibly. Nope. We're overexposed. Back down. That was very, very, very risky. Okay, so there isn't a lot I can do in this position, just because they're gonna be ready for somebody to come down that way. Uh, not great for my survival, if they're already aiming at me. I need to be able to hit something from a different angle, maybe. Alright, you know what? I have an idea. So my plan is go back around behind our lines and see if I can get around behind the enemy. So like into the river there. Because like I'm thinking this area here, like maybe just around this way. Anybody watching? That's something. <laughs> Drive by scouting. Uh, let's just go this way. Careful. It's just crossing this way is kind of like sniper central. Oh, I forgot about the water. Yeah, a bit of a downside about coming this way. You can only go at like 9k's an hour. Oh, that was a missile. I think that might have been aimed at me. Oh, there's a heli up. Okay, that, that is a problem. Oh, there's an enemy on the other side of A, apparently. Okay, let's just hug the wall here. Not get too visible. Okay. Not gonna fully peek here just yet. No! God, please, no! 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 Whoa! That's some carpet bombing. Okay. I'm sitting on the cap. And I really don't need to be here, but... Surprise, mother... Alright, there's one. We go back into our little hidey hole right here. <laughs> and this is where we live. Those tracks there might give me away, though. Then again, the, the entire team's kind of pushed, so maybe we might be alright. Maybe that M41 was just going for like a sneaky cap, potentially. I don't know, we'll, we'll go have a look. We're just gonna have a look. Uh-oh. Okay, I can't get up that way. Yeah, we're having some grip issues. <laughs> Ooh! Wait, we got two assists. Okay, that could count if I don't get one more kill now. And this is a problem. Okay, that's three assists. You know what? I may have bitten off more than I can chew by coming up here, so let's just get back down. And hope nobody's coming down this way. Because I do need to cover the riverbank. Okay, I didn't actually notice that we have four assists. So maybe that might count. I do feel better about four assists than two. Ooh! That was a wyvern.
I do like the Wyvern. Or Wyvern. Depending on how you say it. Oh, no, 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 no. He's looking right at me. Oh, that's bad. Oh, he might be AFK. Oh, that's interesting. That feels like a kill steal, but at the same time... I kind of need to. <laughs> if he only knew what I was trying to do, I'm sure he'll understand. Uh-oh. Oh, he hasn't seen me. He hasn't seen me. I don't have to kill him. I, but just because I don't have to doesn't mean I'm not going to. Alright, you know what? I'm taking it. All right, I'm starting to feel a little bit more conspicuous here. And this, uh... This server was a little slow to load, so I don't know if I can make it over to the A point. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I think I'm not gonna risk crossing the road. We're gonna go around this way. I think maybe I might be able to get a sneaky capture on the C point, possibly? Normally I'd go for the A point. So, I guess C is going to be the backup. I do need to point out though, and I'm sure most of you guys are already aware of this. I'm not amazing at this game. The amount of luck that sometimes is required, especially in the AML, is uh, alarmingly high, let's say. <laughs> but at the same time, I do also have these good luck charms that I always have. You might have noticed the little skull and crossbones, the teddy bear. Yeah, the reason I have those on all of my tanks, they are... It's superstition, okay? It's a good luck charm. If you ever have a good run, well, you have one of those attached, you never question it. You just do it for every single other tank afterwards and hope it works. And I may be needing that luck very, very soon. But if you have some other, like, good luck charms like that, let me know down in the comments what yours is and how well it works. Honestly feeling like my camouflage bushes here may not be the best right now. Oh, hello. Something just moved. Oh yeah, no, something is moving down there. What are you? Is he looking right at me? There's no way, right? I don't feel safe here. Whatever that is, might actually know I'm here. Or maybe he doesn't, actually. Maybe he doesn't. Either way, I feel really exposed over here. Uh-oh. How did I not see him? He's right here. Somebody please help me. I don't think he knows that I'm here. Oh! Okay, he did see me at the last second, but something else just took a shot at me. And I don't want to find out what that is. You gotta play every game like you're a bunny rabbit. You run away from everything that makes a noise or looks at you funny. <laughs> That's just a way to stay alive, honestly. But I've never played any battle in War Thunder, like, the way I'm playing right now. It's genuinely very interesting having to play this way, where you really gotta be so careful about every single decision you make. And like looking at the sky, looking for planes and helicopters and looking for cover and all that stuff. It's just... It's terrifying is what it actually is, but... <laughs> Somehow, actually, this is kind of fun. Oh, I can't elevate my gun up that high. Well, I might have drawn attention to myself unnecessarily. I'm going to use this leopard here as, um, cover. Stop for the plane. Okay, we're fine. So, we might be able to make a run onto the B point, possibly? 
I'm literally using this, this like roof here as like air cover, <laughs> like potential air cover. Oh no! So what have we learned today? Well, we've learned that this challenge is actually a lot of fun, and also that the uh, AML 90 is actually not that bad. I mean, it only fires heat rounds. I will give it that, and it has armor that couldn't protect you from a 50 caliber, so it's not really an armored vehicle at all. I mean, it's about as protective as taking a hatchback and putting a turret on it. But all that being said, it is kind of survivable if you play it the way I have been, and I honestly don't think the bushes help that much. I don't think there was a single instance there where sitting still and camping actually made that much of a difference. I mean, yeah, from the front you can't really see it, but I don't think that's what did it because, yeah, for the majority of the time, especially when I was getting kills, I was moving around a lot. So, I really don't think that this tactic is what necessarily works. I mean, it might work against me because I'm not very good with the whole eyesight department. But for anyone else, I just don't see this as being that effective, especially if you're sitting in a spot where you can't really see a lot. I just don't like that that way of playing, so it's not for me. But the challenge, on the other hand, a lot of fun. Of course, if there is a particular vehicle you want to see me attempt this challenge with, let me know down in the comments. It's been a lot of fun, and of course, learning how to work with this particular vehicle has been a very, very interesting experience. It's about sort of learning what you can and can't kill, given that this only has those heat rounds. Like, sure, there are some tanks where you can just one-shot them like that, and then other tanks where it just seems to take forever. So picking your battles really, really matters. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.